Boxing is my favorite sport, and most days Italian is my favorite food. So with tons of world champions and local legend Italian Kitchen, Brockton is my kind of city. Italian Kitchen has been around since 1947. It was recently purchased by the guys that I call the Bar Pie Brothers, Jeremy and Jonathan Jamulis. The Italian Kitchen is an old school red sauce hangout staple of the city of Brockton. It's where people who are from Brockton have been coming for over 60 years. You're taking right back the sights, the smells, the sounds. It's like coming home. They've got the brick floors and the wood paneled walls, the booths, the formica tables, the old school signage. And you can smell them cooking the sauce and the fresh bread. They just don't make places like this anymore. We have like two different sides. Come into one side, you have your lunch, and then before you go, you go to the other side. You can buy quarts of sauce and meatballs and our homemade sausages and chicken palms. And of course, there's always room in the freezer for a Cape Cod Cafe frozen pizza. This is the grocerio. Like, I want everything in the store. They've got frozen soup and pasta, fresh mozzarella, ultra high-end cold cuts, and my favorite part, the butcher shop. If you love to grill steaks, they will cut them according to your requested thickness and size. They say don't go food shopping when you're hungry. That's why I always have lunch right next door before I even allow myself in the grocery. Because I buy everything. The former owner, Gus, is still around. He ran this place for decades. He's still here kissing babies and stirring sauce. Everybody knows Gus. He's still here stirring the sauce and making sure all the recipes are still the same as they were 60 years ago. Red sauce is the lifeblood of any Italian restaurant. It's the first thing they do here in the morning is make that sauce, and they keep making it fresh all day long in small batches. Almost nobody does that anymore. And trust me, you can taste the difference. We still do it that way as they did 60 years ago. It's just good homemade sauce. The ingredients are fresh, and it just feels good when it's in your belly. I love a Chinese poo-poo platter, and I think maybe Italian Kitchen invented the Italian poo-poo platter. If you're a first-timer, you may want to get this item because it has several of their most popular dishes. You're gonna get your meatballs, some sausage, some nice raviolis, a nice piece of homemade lasagna all over our red sauce, and of course you can mix and match it any way you like. It's a real popular item. They do a massive meatball business here. I mean five to 10,000 a week. Each one looks a little different. That's how you know that they're making them fresh. The meatballs taste like heaven. We're grinding our own meats. We buy wheels of Pecorino Romano cheese. We grind that and put that in the meatballs. So when you take a bite of those amazing meatballs, all the little, little things add up to something big. You can buy one meatball for less than $2. I mean, that's an inflation fighter. I'm a chicken parm freak, and this is one of my favorite renditions. This is super fresh white meat chicken. They put on the cheese and that great sauce, and they serve it with angel hair pasta. You got the nice cheese on it with a homemade sauce covering it. When you put that together, a little bite of the chicken parm, a little bite of the pasta, it brings it all together. It's just really good. It's not all red sauce here. They also have great subs, including my favorite, the Italian. This has ham, a couple kinds of salami, provolone, pickles, onions, lettuce, and it's all inside this fluffy, delicious white roll. You'll see this item by the register, and you should get it because it's very unusual. This is a sourdough bread, and it is jammed with garlic, butter, and pepperoni. This bread is great on its own, and then they stuff it with so much tasty things, it's almost mathematically impossible to jam it all into one loaf of sourdough bread. This flavor hits you in the mouth like a hook from Marvin Hagler, but in a good way. So visit Italian Kitchen in Brockton, city of champions, city of chicken palm. It's worth it because it's old school, made right, just like your grandmother used to make on the Sunday in the kitchen. You come in here, you're gonna smell it, you're gonna see it, and then when you get it, you're certainly gonna taste it.